okay uh, suppose the name of the class is animal class okay uh, are you guys able to hear me because Sneha says that she's not able to hear me are you guys able to hear me Sneha you can check your speakers all right suppose this is the animal class which we had made okay this animal class has few properties just a minute uh, yeah this animal class has got properties like walk and rest okay right now what we can do is that you guys are not in okay so these two properties are there in the animal class in inheritance what happens is that one class will extend this animal class okay suppose this is the class cat the outer red box fine so what will happen is that over here you will have the class cat the cat class will automatically acquire the properties of animal that is walk and rest apart from that it can have its own set of properties as well when i say own set of properties i mean this area okay a cat class maybe uh, it can have a function like uh, say hunt okay fine so cat acquires the properties of animal okay the regular properties walk and rest apart from that it's got its own properties as well all right this is what inheritance is fine programmatically uh, programmatically if I open up Eclipse, hold on, let me open Eclipse. Just a minute. Uh, just one minute yeah hold on so what we will be doing is Okay, okay this is the one this is already the fine fine all right so over here in eclipse yesterday we had made this temporary project in which i had made the class animal the animal had two functions walk and rest okay now my cat class i was writing cat extends animal so automatically if you write this this means inheritance the cat class will acquire all the properties of the animal class okay so the cat is known as a child class and animal is known as the parent class if in case I create a new class 
and I name this new class as test.java fine in this class if I create the object of cat say if I write cat c equals to new cat okay then I can call the functions like walk and sleep or rest now cat never had these functions since it is extending the animal class it will automatically acquire those functions all right fine apart from that I can have its own proprietary functions out here like public void Okay, which I can easily call from here that cat dot hunt. Fine. Okay. I hope you have understood this. All right. Now, the next thing. The next thing is the concept of encapsulation. Alright, suppose I make a new class known as car. Okay, first of all, in inheritance, you always have is a relationship. Okay, cat is a animal. So we write cat extends animal and always in inheritance, you will find a relationship like is a relationship. Cat is a is animal okay right so you extend the classes right in encapsulation right I'll create a new class and I'll call it car Okay, int name. I give a property the name of the car. Now, in encapsulation, there is a relationship has a. Okay, in encapsulation, you always have has a relationship. Okay, right car has a name so name is encapsulated inside the car class okay suppose I'll create a new class over here known as engine so I'll encapsulate the engine class inside the car class. Okay, I'll write over here engine E globally. So E is the reference of engine class. Car has an engine. Okay, car is not an engine. You cannot write car is an engine. You cannot extend the engine class. But car has got an engine. So you'll have the engine class reference encapsulated inside the car maybe the engine you can have the properties like int capacity engine has a capacity so this becomes uh, encapsulation yeah okay fine anybody with any questions I'll tell you how encapsulation is used as well. When we do the frameworks, you will come to know. No, inheritance and inheritance is not related to encapsulation. Inheritance is separate. Inheritance is one class acquiring the properties of other class. That is a separate class. 
encapsulation is one class having properties car has a name so name is encapsulated inside the car class car has a engine so engine prop engine is encapsulated inside the car class but uh, is engine is different in java class right we yeah. are referring to that class inside the car class correct the reference of that class or i can simply write engine equals to new engine whatever okay. it is uh, now if engine has some function sensor like how you define for yeah, the yeah i am coming over class? to that i am coming okay over. come okay come sir okay so out here no test class is a separate class in test class if i create the object of car okay all right i can write c1 dot name i'll get the properties both name and engine i'll name my car, car as say of ford okay and okay it should be string name sorry okay and you can write c1 dot engine equals to new engine the, you are you are in initializing the engine of c1 class then you can write c1 dot e engine dot will get the property capacity the capacity property was in the engine class are you getting my point are you getting it anyone all right it is inside car has a engine engine has a capacity has a relationship is there in encapsulation 